Hello and welcome to my weapon chat today on this Sunday. It's I'm just gonna let my dog Billy out from the bedroom. Um, today it's the 23rd, no, 22nd of September. Yeah, I'm still working on Arya Stark. I haven't had that much time to diamond paint this week. Uh, as I've said before, I work a full time and I have dogs and my daughter and things to do. So, and if I have some bad days or yeah, feeling a bit tired from work, I usually don't choose to diamond paint. Yeah, excuse me. Um, just before I started <laughs> filming, I was, uh, while well, I was diamond painting and while I was putting the drills down, I was like, you know, those drills are quite dark. Are, are they supposed to be, you know, dark around this white area and in her face? And, you know, I was like, no, just follow the pattern, you know, trust the pattern. And I do that. And I'm finished. I empty the drills in, you know, the container. And I'm going to put it back. And I realized I, I, had, I actually had picked the wrong color. It was supposed to be almost white drills. And these were dark brown. So... I was like, why, why every time, every Sunday, I either, you know, put the wrong drills in the wrong container and I put the wrong drills on the wrong symbol. Oh my God. I think that's a sign that maybe I'm too tired. Okay, let's stop. 3072, what's that? It's X, okay. Yes, and... Maybe I'm just too tired and unfocused. I don't know. Anyway, I picked out uh, the ones I saw. So, if, and especially in those very bright areas, it was easy to find the ones I've placed wrong. Oh, and this, that's some trash on that one. So, yeah. Um... I took all, I had, let's back up, I have this, like, plastic bag with, where I've had, you know, all my extra drills for Arya Stark, and the drills were starting to run out in my container, so I refilled all the containers. And some of them, which I feel are quite, uh, there isn't enough. That's a feeling I get uh, when I look at how much I have left to drill. I mean, yes, I'm a bit more than halfway, but still. So I'm, I'm getting a bit worried worried that maybe um, there isn't enough drills in a couple of colors I guess and I was afraid maybe I've been too picky maybe I've dropped I haven't dropped that many I think but yeah I have been picky I mean I have this container with trash but it's not that much, is it? For I mean, it's an 80 by 105 centimeter uh, painting, so I don't think it's that much. So I hope not. And if I do, I guess I will have to contact the seller on AliExpress or just 
order a couple of bags from, I think there is, I can't remember the name now, but there is a company in England, I think, where I'm, I might be able to just buy drills. <clears throat> And I try to change the setting of my camera because it is auto focusing. So if my hand gets too high up, it will start focusing on my hand. And when I move my hand away, it starts focusing on the picture. And I just wanted to, you know, put the focus on the picture and then my hand could get blurry. Um, but my knowledge of how to do that isn't uh, wide enough, I guess, so I don't know how. And I want the out of focusing when I do my unboxings. Here's a W. Haven't I done a W? 648. So yeah, it's been a tough week. Uh, I'm feeling very low and not very cheerful. But I guess we all have those periods in life. And there's another W. And I'm thinking at some point... It has to turn around. Yeah. Um, let's see. So I'm thinking I'm going to go through my week. Um, Talk a little bit. What's been going on? I don't do much than, you know, work and do some hobby and, you know, take care of my daughter. That That's about what I do. So I'm not, I don't have any adventures to tell about I usually just do some adventure in the summertime so yeah and my husband just arrived home one second I'm gonna go say hi to him okay yes I'm back so where was I? Um, I can't remember actually. Oh well. So on Monday, what happened on Monday? I had the day off on Monday actually. And yeah, and I got to record quite a few YouTube videos, some unboxings, I think. And six. So that's that was nice to to get to do that. I just love how, you know, you've seen unboxings and pictures and everything. And then you get to see the painting yourself. And it's such a positive surprise. It's never what you expect. So, so cool. 
but um, I need to slow down a little bit on the mass buying. And I want to invest some in watercolor painting and some water uh, color brushes, especially. Um, and these are brushes you can get, maybe you can get it somewhere in Europe, but I cannot get them here in Sweden. So, and, and the only brushes of that brand is, um, you can get it on Amazon. It's a three set, but they're just round brushes and I want some flat brushes as well. And I need some colors of a brand, which I can't get here in Sweden either, or Europe. So I've been looking around for um, a place to get it from in the States without having to pay too much in shipping. So. I found what I needed on Dick Blick's webpage and I couldn't finish the order there. They have to, you know, get back to you mail wise and give you like an offer of how much it's going to cost to ship. And um, I have to wait for that. And I hope it's not going to be more than 50 bucks. I mean, it's just some paint and some brushes, so it's nothing big, you know. And I don't need any of that super fast shipping. I also looked, I also found the things uh, I wanted on uh, Jerry's Artorama, I think. But they wanted like over two hundred dollars for shipping <laughs> i was like what no no way oh no 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 and, and it's so frustrating you know that you want something so badly and you can't get it yeah and i hate that youtube just have that reset and they why don't they have they have all the brushes, but it's just that one set which is uh, sent to Sweden. The others, no, nope. Anyway, so but yeah, and that's also a reason why I have to cool down a little bit with the diamond painting because I need to start doing the ones I have and I want to spend some time doing uh, watercolor paintings, uh, videos and mixed medias and sketching and have some kind of mix there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what should I do now? I'm leaning towards J and J is the 3865. So on Tuesday, I worked again and when I got home from work, um, I started editing my Whip and Chat video, which was released on Thursday. Uh, and I could do that in, you know, in my own time because my daughter had gone home with a friend after school and I couldn't say no to that because again you know she's in a new school she's getting new friends so it's important for me that she finds friends so at around seven o'clock in the evening I went to 
she was in another like city so i went to got her and you know she she would finish school around three and at 4 30 she sent me a message saying that yeah we have arrived now to her friend's place and i was like what one and a half hour it does not take that long <laughs> to get there but then she told me they had been doing a little stop and they took the train to that town and i don't know they've been yeah they didn't go straight away to the friend anyway so yeah i guess it's a part of um uh, you know of growing up and starting to be a bit independent and I'm glad I didn't know all the things they were doing and going around with buses and trains in the <laughs> town so And then on Wednesday, um, my daughter, she takes dan dance classes. And this year she has both her dance classes on the same day. So we're there at the, that school all evening and afternoon. Yeah. So she takes, uh, she's dancing street dance and jazz modern it's a mix so my mom showed up at school and took her by bus to the dance school so now she knows how to get there on her own So sometimes, you know, it's hard to leave work before time. So it's, it's good if she knows how to get there in case me or her dad can't leave work. And she could go there, you know, and start doing some homework while she's waiting for her class to start. Yeah, while she's dancing, I usually buy some coffee and something to eat. And I watch, usually I watch YouTube. While waiting. And oh yeah, sometimes I go for a walk or take a run. But not this time. I felt like just chilling. <clears throat> yeah, and at work that day we had this uh, big meeting we have once a month in Sweden at least we do where you know we meet everyone who's working uh, in that group I guess and your boss and you talk about work and what's coming up and planning maybe vacations and stuff 
uh, and our boss told us that one of the other bosses who were my working colleague when I had the opportunity to also work as a boss she's uh, like not quitting quitting but she's taking a leave for going back to school and oh I'm happy for her but it yeah I'm really sad I like to have her around we talk a lot about work mostly but we have the same opinion about a lot of stuff at work at work so yeah we have fun too uh, when we talk so I like that when you get to to laugh at work it's important but uh, yeah, I hope everything works out for her. Yeah, and then I just had to... Not only did I have to leave early because of my daughter, you know, to get to her, at her down school, um, I didn't plan to since my mom had met up and went with her so I knew she was you know with someone something happened at work which just, which just made me quite frustrated I just couldn't stay I, I had to pack up and and go and sometimes I, I just don't understand people sometimes why it has to be so freaking complicated I'm not saying my way is the way, but sometimes I, I don't understand, you know, the, the explanation isn't good enough for me, you know, for me to accept it. Yeah, I'm really practicing on these three placers. I like the three placer. And I tried to put them to use the three placer at a big, um, what do you call that, color block? Block, but no, I don't know. I didn't like the results. So I'm back to the check checker board pattern when there's a lot of um, of the same color I think that's better and also what I noticed on this when you have the light color and the diamond doesn't you know cover the black lines in the pattern you will see that you will see it through so that's a bit sad since it's uh, her face is all white almost all white <sighs> but yeah I guess it's fine but just too bad and on Thursday I was working from home um It's always nice to work from home you can you know yeah you sleep in and when you you get off work you're already at home so you don't need to spend time 
getting home from work. And what happened Thursday? Um, yeah, since I was off Friday, it felt like it was weekend. And then I usually don't mind doing stuff after work. But my daughter really wanted to go to dollar store. So I called my mom and asked if she, if, asked if she wanted to come along. And she did, so we all went there. And Mina, my daughter, she wanted some, yeah, some file system for <coughs> school. So we got that. And then on our way home, my mom asked if we wanted to uh, come with her home and have some dinner. So we did that and that was very nice. And I got to see her new diamond painting kit. The one I showed you in the last whip and shed. And it looks really nice. Uh, but um, it's a Hewa cam. And it is a square drill. Uh, it's uh, 40 by 50. And um, she, the, the drills looks kind of small. But then I told her, well, you won't have the pop-in drills then. So that, that's good. And when you turn off the light from the, on the light pad, you won't see those gaps that clearly clearly yeah um, but she told me also that the pattern was printed the, like the wrong way according to the legend so that had been a bit confusing for her to start with um, so it wasn't a problem, but it could be if you have like symbols that kind of look alike, like uh, a backslash or what you call the opposite. That could be a problem. But I think she'll. Yeah, she's gonna, she, she enjoys it, really. And so nice that um, she has found diamond painting as well. Oh yeah, and I told you about the kit. Um, she ordered her first, her first, my, my mom's first diamond painting was a diamond in our club, right? Why do I call them Diamond and Art Club? It's Diamond Art Club. Anyway, she's not, she was like a third through. And she f got to a small spot where there were no glue. So the drills didn't stick to that area. And so I mailed a DAC and told them about it and well they said that was like very rare and I totally understand that I, I've never heard about that before so they gave me a couple of options or her they gave her some options and she could choose how she wanted to and she she shows a new kit so that one is on its way. That was very nice of them. I never doubted they I never doubted that they wouldn't do anything for her. So that was nice it worked out. Uh oh yeah, and she found later on she found like another spot where there were no glue, so I don't know what happened. 
Mm. When I came home to her that uh, Thursday when we were eating dinner together, uh, I saw that she had like, she had come halfway on that picture. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Because the other option was, you know, to fix, to try to fix the canvas and I wasn't feeling very comfortable with that because I haven't tried. I haven't done it before, so... Yeah. I didn't want my mom to cut off my head if I didn't succeed fixing the canvas. That would be so horrible. Not that I would lose my head, but that she wouldn't have that painting, which she likes so much. So, so I'm glad it's working out. God, and did you guys see the new, um, what's his name, Cansom? Oh, the new releases this Saturday was nice. I don't, I'm not a fan of Hannah Lynn, but there were, there was a leopard. And then there were this landscape picture. Oh my God, it was so nice. But I was like, nope no kids for a while so i didn't get it i'm looking forward to see many unboxings and maybe some whipping chats yeah that's all the jays Yeah, and then on Thursday when we came back, my daughter and I had a cozy evening, you know, cuddling up in the sofa, watching some shows on TV, which we like, eating some chips and just enjoying ourselves. So that was a really good day. And I'll do the, f whoops. Oh yeah, this one is full. Yeah, so on Friday I have the day off and I received my new mobile phone or my new small smartphone or cell phone, whatever you call them in English. And it's really nice, but I hate to get new phones. Yeah, um, you know, when you get a new phone, we, in Sweden, we get to, I don't know, not everyone is doing it, but we get to change every second year. Um, and that's like, you have a deal with that company What's going on here? Yeah, you have a deal with that company and you get to switch your phone every second year. But then, you know, you have like two years of worth on your old phone. Apps and logins. No, what do you call that? Yeah, logging in to different apps and accounts and I just get so stressed out just by thinking of it. So now I have two phones I run around with and, you know, I have to take one app at a time, installing and getting the passwords right and yeah, all that. So it's like getting to know... Uh, new friend so but in the end you know when everything is done it's it's nice and you have the same problem in two years again
Yeah. Did I do anything else? Oh, yeah, on Friday. That's right. My daughter, she... Uh, she so badly wanted uh, a diamond painting, her, her own. She has tried one of those cards. And no, she didn't finish it. But she really wanted one that was bigger. And the very, very first diamond painting I did was like a 30 by 30. And... Uh, it was round drills and it was already on a like on a frame so it was very nice and easy and we bought it in the store here in Sweden and she knew that they still had those but with a wolf and she was like please 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 mommy and I was like you know I cannot say no to you because it's a diamond painting <laughs> she was like yeah I know <laughs> So we went and got her that one. I th think I still have the picture when she's sitting and starting it. Um, yeah, she's so cute. My baby girl. Yeah, and we have some dog hair. So yeah, there she is with her diamond painting. But um, I think it's like the spare of the moment. And I think I might be the one who's going to finish it. But yeah. Let her play. She wants a custom of uh, Billy Eilish. Billy Eilish that singer and she really loves her a lot and she I want her to make it herself and I told her that if you're gonna have a good picture you know, you know with a good result you need to have some size on it and it's gonna take time and you can't mix up the drills and stuff which you've done on your on the card so we'll see we'll see I haven't found a picture which I think is doable just yet let's see I have missed some J's <coughs> And I was hoping I would, you know, be able to stay awake or, you know, wake up early before because I was working this weekend again. I was thinking maybe I could, you know, get up at four o'clock and watch Mrs. Coffee and Crochet before I start working. But, oh, no, I like to sleep. So I didn't. But on Saturday evening... I watched another of Rachel Ray's shows. So that was nice. I usually just, you know, work and lurk. But this time I decided not to diamond paint because it was late and I was getting up early. So I knew I couldn't sit along the whole show. So I tried to be a bit active in the chat and also you know uh, I want to get to know people there and I want to have a good time so and they were talking about which Harry Potter house they belong to and I've heard someone else say that before yeah I'm a Slytherin or I'm this or that and I was like how do you know who told you 
and um, so Heike uh, she told me where I could find out so I went over there and yeah now I know what house I am and I'm a Hufflepuff yep and the funny thing is that um, they have houses in my d daughter's school I think I mentioned that before and she became a badger and I told her oh that's so awesome because you know Hufflepuff have the badger as their uh, animal house animal and now I'm a Hufflepuff as well so <laughs> yeah I need to read those books again, for sure. So yeah, I uh, finished watching her live show today. And yeah, it's nice to have some good laughs. It is, but I, you know, I don't know if I've been busy or I've just haven't had the mood for diamond painting because I usually watch uh, YouTubers while I diamond paint and I haven't had the chance to look at all the unboxings and all the live shows and I think I'm following too many, so I guess I need to, yeah, do some, I don't know. You can't watch them all. So, I only have one color left finished with this section and I haven't knock knock on wood yet poured the wrong drills into the wrong bins but this one doesn't fit there why oh yeah that's why. so I only have number four left and today Sunday again working and of course all these days my my daughter she has lots of homework and she's having a lots of tests coming up so I'm trying to you know run between work and her studying and run between diamond paying and everything and help her with her study so I'm exhausted Ugh. but now it's Sunday I'm working for four more days and I'm off for three days so that's gonna be really really nice and on Friday when I have my first day off we are going to that book fair yes and most of the people we're gonna watch are people my daughter want to see it's quite a few of those Swedish youtubers who have written books and stuff Whoops. Yeah. So. But oh, I love that book fair. It's uh, oh, you know, imagine. There are uh, thousands and thousands of books and people, and everybody's talking about their book and their experiences, and it's all genres. Is that how you say genre? I don't know. It's thrillers, it's fantasy, it's children's books, it's grown-ups books, it's politic politician books, and it's autobiog autobiographies, whatever it is, and psychology and food and baking. Everything is there. 
is so nice and you know it's like you take a step into the world of imagination it's so awesome and you get to meet you know the authors it's so cool and listen to what they have to say mm. so i'm really looking forward to that Jesus, I'm very hungry. I haven't eaten any dinner yet. Yeah, let's see how much time I have left. 11 minutes. Should I do some of the get to know me questions? No, there's too little left in the color so I won't do any tag today yeah and I made an impromptu video um, maybe it was Friday where I showed some of my drawing books I can show you that when I'm done here and I made like one part of one of the exercises and I'm really looking forward to continue working with sketching and drawing uh, and as I said I, I really want to combine this with watercolor uh, it's frustrating and intimidating as always you know you I have you know it's so scary you want to do so good and you're like I can't do that or this and I can't draw I can't paint I don't know how to mix colors or anything But when you play with it, or when I play with it, it makes me happy. And I want to do more. And I want to get better at it. So, <clears throat> and I realized uh, I wanted to do, I want to do on Inktober. But I wanted to, you know, make a time lapse video for each day. But when I look at the week I just did, you know, I don't think it's going to be possible when I work my f at least 40 hours a week. And then, you know, you have family to take care of. It's just not going to happen. But I will try to uh, at least, you know, sketch every day, even if I'm not filming it. So I'm really looking forward. That's like, what is it? It's, is it a week? One more week of September? And then we're entering October and it starts out, I think it starts Monday, not this Monday, but next Monday. So yeah, it's going to be awesome.
do have some popping drills, but I don't know if it's... I don't know why, actually. Because I don't think the drills are too big or anything. Comsy, comsy. I hate when they get stuck on the tray. I don't know why. And I had a J left to place. Maybe I should take my roller and do some rolling. Yeah, it's clicking. Oops. So, God, I'm tired. I'm so tired today. So yeah, uh, I showed you a little bit in this book and showed you some of the, the exercises. So first I tried in my own sketching book um, and just to get a feel of it here, I switched from a thicker pen to a thinner pen. And then I went over to the book and I traced, um, he has made some uh, softer printing so you can trace the lines first and then I did them for myself so I will continue and do it step by step so this kind of sketching is called spacing and you have to be consistent it's your training consistency here so that was that was relaxing yeah yeah, my Ari Stark. I think there are some, I don't know, do you call it puckers or rivers that are running underneath here? And that's why they're popping up. So the next stage will be the rest of her face. And I'm really looking forward to that. So I hope uh, next Sunday when I do my next whip and chat that you'll see some of her face because I don't think I have the time to finish that section. So yeah, um, I think this will be all for today. Um, I want to thank you guys for coming along and taking your time to watch my whip and chat. And if you have any questions or, you know, want me to try something else out or show you something, uh, which has to do with my hobbies, of course, then please leave a comment below. And don't forget to hit subscribe, because then I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.